Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here. In today's video, I'll be covering my picks of the top 10 best PS5 Black Friday deals on Amazon. So let's get into it. The first game is Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Now, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a fast-paced Dragon Ball-themed fighting game similar to the Bodokai Tenkaichi series. And in this game, you'll be able to play from a massive roster of characters across the entire Dragon Ball series, from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super, GT, and more. The game features epic 3D battles with stunning visuals that feels like you're playing right out of the anime. And I definitely feel like if you're a fan of the series, you'll really enjoy this game. And it includes a huge roster of characters, even some of the most obscure ones from single episodes of the series, spin-off movies, and more. And it also brings many of the combat mechanics from the anime right into the game. So you'll be using things like instant transmission to dodge, unleashing massive attacks that destroy arenas, buildings, and more. The game also is quite accessible if you're a brand new player, but also has a lot of depth if you really want to hone your craft and get good at the game. It features a wide variety of activities to dive into for a single player, but it also has lots of online modes where you can fight people across the world. This is one of the best fighting games in recent years, and I definitely recommend it. The next game is Unicorn Overlord. Now this game is a unique tactical meat strategy RPG that's set in a war-torn country where you take on the role of a young prince leading a rebel army in hopes of saving the land and restoring his stolen kingdom. It features a great anime art style and addictive gameplay, and you'll start off by slowly building your army and rescuing towns across the kingdom, which can allow you to get more supplies and to slowly increase your army and become more powerful in hopes of restoring the kingdom. Combat is quite unique as well, where you'll be combining real-time strategy with some turn-based combat elements, where you'll strategically need to place your units around the map, and when they encounter enemies, they'll engage in more of a turn-based combat scenario. It's definitely fun to upgrade and build up your units and recruit a bigger army throughout the game. It has a story with lots of twists and turns, and I think if you like turn-based RPGs or real-time strategy RPGs, this is a cool combo of both, and I'd recommend it. The next game is Dragon's Dogma 2. And so this is an open-world action RPG set in a medieval fantasy world. And in this game, you'll play as the Arisen, a hero that's destined to rule over the kingdom and restore peace throughout the realm. Unfortunately, you'll discover that an imposter has taken your place on the throne, and you'll need to find a way to unravel their deception and reclaim the throne. The game has stunning graphics and amazing visuals, and it's also combined with some addictive combat and level up mechanics that will keep you coming back for more. There's multiple different character classes that you can choose from and ways to build out your character, allowing you to really customize your gameplay style. There's a huge world to explore, tons of side quests, and secrets and dangers around every corner. I think if you like action RPGs and that feel of an open world exploration, you'll like this game as well. The next game is Tekken 8. And so this is the newest entry in the long running Tekken series. And it's a fast paced fighting game that's accessible for new players and veterans alike. And so I think if you're new to this genre or new to this Tekken series, you'll be able to have a great time as they've added some simple moveset additions to the game, but also it has its more standard fighting combat as well, if you're a longtime fan of the series. It has a more arcade-focused story mode, typical to most fighting games, but again, the story in this game is a bit over the top, but that's part of the fun as well. It also has a cool versus mode where you can play against AI combatants based around ghosts of real players' play styles, and you can even face off against your own ghost, which keeps things really interesting and always a challenge. There's also a robust online mode where you can play people from around the world, and even more casual settings where you can create your own lobbies and play against friends online. If you like fighting games, this one's a must play as well. The next game is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And so this is a fantasy action JRPG with an anime art style, and you'll play as a crew of adventurers as you pilot an airship across a fantasy world. And you'll start off your journey exploring floating islands around the world, searching for treasure, 
and it eventually leads into a greater threat that you'll need to take on as a team. Now this isn't the first entry of the Grand Blue Fantasy series, but I don't think you need to play the others in order to get enjoyment out of this game. And it doesn't shove a ton of lore down your face throughout the main storyline, but it does give you some additional options if you did want to dig deeper to learn more about characters' backstories and the overarching lore of the series. And so this is fun where you can dig into that if you choose to, or if you really just want to focus more on the gameplay and action, that's an option as well. There's also a wide cast of playable characters to choose from and to build out your team. And this is great because each one of these characters has a really different feel and play style to them. And so you can mix and match your team builds to really fit your play style. Not only is the base story available that you can play through, but there's also a quest mode with ongoing challenges for your team if you really want to step up the difficulty and face a harder threat. There's definitely some great rewards for doing this though, as you'll be able to get items, weapons, crafting materials, and more to really strengthen your team. So not only does it have a great story to plug into, but there's also a lot of content after the end of the game that you can really keep playing and expanding your team and roster with more and more difficult challenges to come. I think if you like action RPGs, this one's worth picking up as well. The next game is Demon Souls. Now Demon Souls is a remake of the classic dark fantasy action RPG Demon Souls that originally came out on the PS3. And this is really more of a precursor to the ongoing Dark Souls series and the Elden Ring game. It's from the same creators and it has that similar feel and play style to the game as well. And so in this game, you'll play as a hero that's trying to restore their kingdom after it has fallen to an evil king consumed by the Dark Old One. And so as you start off your journey, you'll be able to build your hero and pick a variety of class types to choose from. And this really alters your play style and abilities for the game. And you'll need to fight your way through many challenging stages filled with a variety of enemy types and challenging bosses. The graphics definitely look amazing in this game and really bring the world to life. And so not only is it visually awesome, it has some great addictive gameplay as well. And compared to the original game, they've also added some quality of life enhancements to it, making it a little bit more user friendly as you explore the world. I think if you like challenging RPGs or are fans of the Dark Souls series or Elden Ring, this one's worth checking out as well. The next game is Sandland. And so Sandland is a unique open world action RPG where you'll pilot things like tanks, mechs, and explore on foot in a vast apocalyptic desert world. And you'll play as a young demon prince that goes on a journey to help the remaining survivors of humanity in hopes of restoring the world. And the game itself is based on the manga and anime by Akira Toriyama. And so you'll probably recognize the art style from things like Chrono Trigger or Dragon Ball. And it features a really engrossing story that you'll be able to enjoy as you play throughout the game, whether you're a longtime fan of the anime or manga or not. The game has really engaging and satisfying combat where, as I mentioned, you'll be piloting things like tanks and mech weapons, but you also can dive into more hand-to-hand -hand combat, taking on enemies as well. And so you'll spend a lot of time exploring the world, searching for treasure and items that you can use to rebuild and enhance your tanks and mechs. And this can become very addictive as you play throughout the game. If you like open world action RPGs, and are a fan of anime type games, I think you'll like this one as well. The next game is Metaphor Refantasio. And so this is an engaging RPG from the creators of the Persona series, and it has that sort of feel to it as well. And it takes place in a fantasy world where the king has been assassinated, and his final wish was to have his successor decided by a massive tournament. And so another sideline plot is that the prince years earlier, who would be the successor to the throne, was put under an evil curse and no longer can assume the throne. And you'll actually play as his childhood friend as you go on a quest to prove your worth to enter this tournament and become the successor and hopefully restore the true king, the prince, by removing his curse. And so like other games in the Persona series, You'll follow a general calendar of events, and so as you progress through the story, you must make 
a variety of decisions that can use up time, but in doing so, it can help you progress the story along and improve your character's abilities, deepen relationships with your teammates, and more. So there's definitely a lot to explore and choose from as you progress through the game, and that's a cool element to it as well, but it also has really engaging and intense combat and your characters have different archetypes which they can choose from, which will alternate their play style and abilities, and you'll be able to eventually kind of mix and match these together to build your ultimate play style for your characters. Combat can also be pretty intense and difficult, but the good thing is that there's definitely easier modes to the gameplay, so if you're looking for more of just enjoying the story, that's certainly an option as well. It also has a really great anime art style, and some engrossing cutscenes throughout the game. And so I think if you like robust RPGs with a great story, this one's worth checking out as well. The next game is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And so this is the second installment in the Final Fantasy Remake trilogy. And this game will continue your hero's quest in hopes of saving the world. And so the story continues right after you've left Midgar and really kind of opens things up. And it has almost an open world feel to the game compared to the more linear version of the first entry in the series. And so there's definitely a lot to explore and do, but in some cases this might feel a little bit tedious and could maybe feel like more just extra padding to the game rather than having you continue on with the story. It's definitely cool to have these famous areas from the original game really brought to life as the game has stunning visuals, but as I mentioned, it might feel a little bit tedious to do all these different side quests and mini games, and it can sometimes pull you out of the main story. But I think if you really wanna dive deep into this world, you'll really enjoy that aspect. Again, combat returns to be more of a hybrid combat system, feeling like a combination of an action RPG meets turn-based RPG. And so that was one of my favorite elements to the original remake, and I think they brought it back in a great way in this game as well. It also has a robust materia system, giving you a lot of options on how you wanna build your characters up and the different abilities they can use throughout the game. And you can really evolve your party to fit your play style. I definitely think it's important to play the first entry in this remake series before playing this game. But if you're a fan of the Final Fantasy VII universe, I would definitely recommend this game as well. The final game on today's list is Stellar Blade. Now Stellar Blade is a fast paced action RPG and you'll play as a futuristic warrior Eve as she and her team try and save the rest of humanity after an intense post-apocalyptic war between an alien race that have left the world decimated and caused the remaining humans to flee Earth. And so you'll be taking on these crazy alien creatures and combat is intense, almost like a Dark Souls game where you'll need to focus on parrying and dodging and attacking and getting down the timing of enemies, but it is a little bit more fast paced than that, which will keep you always on your toes. And throughout the game, there's a massive skill tree to unlock and build out, giving you plenty of ways to expand your character's abilities to really fit your play style. And so combat is one of the best parts of the game. And not only will regular enemy encounters be a lot of fun, there's also challenging boss fights to take on throughout the game as well. The visuals are spectacular, and it's a really cool world to explore. And I think if you like action RPGs, I would definitely recommend this game as well. But again, hopefully you like this video and our top 10 picks of the best PS5 Black Friday deals going on right now on Amazon. And another thing with many of these deals is that several of them are available on multiple different systems, not just PS5, but some of these on this list are PS5 exclusives. So check for that as you're going through these games. And if you did wanna pick up any of these games, I'll have a link in the description below where you can do so. And if you decide to order them there, it'll help support our channel as well. But let us know, have we missed any great Black Friday deals that we should have talked about? Are there any games you'll be picking up now that you've seen this video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. And another really cool way you can help support the channel is we actually partnered with a game store, Nutmeg Games. So if you like board games, Pokemon cards, magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and more, you can actually head to nutmeggames.com forward slash nerdproblemsgaming 
and use our promo code NerdProblemsGaming at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order and help support our channel at the same time. So if you did want to take advantage of that great deal, be sure to head there as well. And if you like videos like this on video games, board games, and everything nerdy, check out one of our other videos here. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out. But once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you more soon.